do that real quick when Christ said, uh, even uh, except you humble yourself as a child, yeah, yeah. you won't receive the kingdom of heaven. So what he just showed was, if a child can obey the word of God, we can as adults. That's, right. That's why Christ said this, read. Matthew chapter 18, verse 1. At the same time came disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So the disciples came to him, Who is the greatest in the kingdom? All right? Plain question, read. And Jesus called a little child unto him. So he immediately went to a little child. I'm going to show you who's the greatest. I'm going to show you an example of a child. Read, really? come on. And set him in the midst of them uh -huh. and said. And he set the child in the midst of men, grown men. That's stubborn. They don't want to change their ways. You got to tell over and over again because they think they know right. You understand, Read, really? come on. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you. So now I'm going to go back to that because a lot of us right now, we think we know God, but we know we don't know nothing about God. Because we go off of the assumption of the indoctrination of Christianity. We've been lied to. A lot of our beautiful black sisters of today, they think they good with God, but they don't really know God. They think that Jesus loved them. Yes, they know with Jesus' heart, they tell them so. They think that God loved them. Sis, you understand that? We think we know God. There's a way that's seen right unto us, but it's death. All right, sis, you understand that? Meaning what? A lot of us, we're stuck in our ways of being drunk, of being on drugs. I'm doing what we want. Come on, read. Come on. Verily I say unto you, except you be converted. The Bible says, except you be converted as what? And become as little children. What will a child do when you tell him to do something? Will you, if, if you tell him to go clean his room and get, do his homework, will he say, I don't think I want to do it right now, Mom. I think I should do it at five instead of right now. What will you do? What, do, do, you, do you tell your mother what you should do? Oh, you got to get it together. Sometimes. But, okay, here we go. Should he be doing that? No, 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 no. I mean, should he be telling you what he wants to do, right? He should obey just how he obeyed, right? So the Lord, remember the question. Who's the greatest in the kingdom? The Lord brought a child. A child will obey. Us, we think we got an option. Us being the children of God, we ain't got no options with God. We're his children. The children of Israel. So what do the children do? We listen. In order to be in that house right. of the kingdom. In that kingdom, what that's going into is rulership. Right. You're right. not going to have dominion and rule by having a same-sex marriage. Right. By a man thinking that he's a man, uh, a woman. And a woman thinking that she's a man. That's a society that you know is wrong, but that's a society that he got to grow up in. Right. Right. So what do you got to do with your son? You got to give him the instructions that is wrong. He should not be 18 years old with a wig on, eyelashes, and plastic surgery saying his name is Teresa. You understand what I'm saying? Wait, really, come on. Verily I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children. Because for money, the society of today will make you think that it's right to turn your son into a woman. Bring it out. Bring All it for out. money and economics. All for the destruction of a nation. Right. To what? Facilitate their wealth. To make sure that the slaves and the common folk are ignorant and they keep morality. The point is this. We continue to do the same thing over and over and over again. That same thing I'm speaking of is sin. We stay in our sin over and over again. God says that's insanity. Because we are the same people that complain about not having proper jobs. Deaths in our community. Rapes. Drugs in our community. Drunkenness in our community. We're the same people that complain about problems, but we still continue to sin as a people. We don't do nothing about change. Wait, come on. Except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we got to get our mind right before we start taking, talking about economics and business. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And laws and everything. Our mind is jacked up. What is a man thinking that he can be a woman going to do for economics if he don't know who he is? Right. You understand that? That's confusion. How can a man that think he's a woman establish laws for society? Right. It doesn't work. You understand? It's all corrupt. This whole world, government and everything, is set up through corruption. So go back to that. Read that again. I want to explain it again. Come on, go back to it. Verily I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because a child will humble themselves and obey their parents. Right. You got to do the same. Since you understand that? So I'm going to show you. Give me some laws. Is that it on that? Uh, this, this Go ahead. 
Whosoever therefore shall humble himself. So that's what it means to humble yourself. Humble yourself don't mean you weak yourself. Humble yourself to the word of God. That's and right. the men that are showing you the word of God. That's always been the agenda of the prophets. The reason why we are here right now is because World War Three is about to crack the damn sky. Bring it out. And we still in our sin. Niggas still want to smoke weed and kill each other. What do you think Jesus Christ was preaching on the earth before destruction came in the time of, of Rome? When they in, in Jerusalem, when Jesus before Jesus Christ died, or after Christ died, right? After Christ died, slavery happened. After Christ died, the Jews, our forefathers that was in Jerusalem, we were thrown out of the land. Christ came to warn the people that hell is going to crack the sky. Right. Hell is going to come on the earth. If we don't raise our sons and if we don't get our minds right as a people, we all going to be in a lake of burning and fire. You understand that? Bring it up. Do you want to burn forever? Because there is a hell. We ain't seen it yet. Right. You're gonna, you're gonna think about dying forever. You're gonna burn in hell forever. That's gonna be a literal thing on earth. You're gonna live forever because you don't in, in death because you didn't want to repent of your sin. Right. That's the point of us being out here right now. Give you the warning so you can save your own soul. Can't nobody else save you. Read that again. Come on. Keep going with that. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself. So humble yourself because the reward of your sin is thermonuclear fire. Bring it out. World War Three. We're living in it. Right. They don't have to tell you that it's World War Three for you to know that it's a war going on. You're living in it. It's just that you ain't seen no missiles fly across the sky yet. Bring it out. You ain't see. You already seen pestilence COVID-19 that happens in war. You understand that? The signs are right before you. The deceit is telling you that everything is all right in Jesus. Right. You understand that? When it's not. Read, really, come on. Humble himself uh -huh. as this little child. Really? The same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The same is great in the kingdom of heaven. I'm going to put some fear of God in your heart. Give me Peter's, please. I'm going to give you Peter's. This is in the New Testament. Even the apostle Peter, the man that Christ set up after his death to be the head of the church, when you read in the scriptures, he gave us warning about death. Fire that's gonna come on this planet. You got what I want? Here we go. Very good. Second Peter chapter three verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. The Lord ain't slack. Meaning it's gonna happen in His time. One day with God is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like one day. So He can just count the time. That's why they call God the Ancient of Days. You understand? Read. As some men count slackness, uh -huh. but is long suffering to us work. God, get, God, that word long suffering means he gave you some time to get yourself right. Christianity ain't teaching you about what real mercy or grace means. Grace is a grace period. You owe a debt of righteousness by keeping the commandments to your God. He gave you grace through Christ to get yourself right. You understand that? You got grace? Okay, let's get it. Come on. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. This is what grace means. Read. For this is the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. This is what the definition of grace is, all right? Th think about somebody that loves, has the addiction of alcohol. Right. Or, or, or drugs, or pedophilia. You understand that? They have an addiction. They can't kick it, right? Read. Come on. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. Grace teaches you to do what? Deny ungodliness. So to deny ungodliness, sister, you have to know what ungodliness is. You understand that? So grace teaches you to deny 
Ungodliness. Right. What is ungodly? Breaking his commandments. Right. You understand? It's that simple. To receive the kingdom of heaven, you can't just believe on them. Because I can believe whatever I want to. It don't mean it's real. Right. Belief is an action. You understand that? To receive the kingdom of heaven, you must keep God's commandments. That's how you receive the reward for getting into the kingdom. You understand that? The, the kingdom of heaven is established with righteousness. How are you going to go in the kingdom of heaven as a wicked person on earth? That doesn't make sense. You understand that? That's like you going to be a doctor. You ain't never had the training. You a mechanic and you trying to fix a person like a car. It don't work together. You understand that? Read on. Come on. Teaching us denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly. So you deny ungodliness and worldly lusts. Some of that worldly lust for men, it might be porn. It might be drugs. For women, it might be the lust of wanting to be like Nicki Minaj or whatever the case may be. You know your own sin. That's the point I'm saying. You understand that? We don't come on. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly. Some of your issues or your sins might be you talk back to your husband. That's a sin in the eyesight of God. She smiled when I said that. Bring it out. Bring it out. And I don't mean talking back like if you're wrong, you know you correct them. I'm talking about you know when you 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 know exactly what you when you want to get your point across and you know you're wrong. Y'all know exactly when you want to just be a damn demon. You understand what I'm saying? And be a problem to him. Or y'all, you might hit your husband. You might be abusive. He might be abusive towards you. That's all sin. But grace, Christ came and died for you so you can be cognizant or uh, uh, what is it? Uh, have a conscience towards what to do what's right. And eventually, if you love Christ and God enough, you're going to change your ways. You understand that? Will you come on? We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. So in this present world right now, you have grace to get yourself right with God. You understand that? And how do you get yourself right with God? What you got? Come on. Oh, wait. Before you get yourself, look. Before you get you, you got to understand grace. Because before destruction comes, what we're going to read, it's going to be some time that you have. But you don't know when, the, do you know when the world is going to end? Or when Christ don't crack the sky? So should you wait on changing? You shouldn't wait. You understand that? I'm going to show you what somebody that's righteous does when they hear the word of God and they say, you know what? I ain't going to waste no time. Give me that real quick when it says in Psalms, um, I, I made haste and delayed not. Is that Psalms 109 verse 15 or something like that? I think I'm shooting from the hip. So when you read the Bible, you made haste and you delayed not. Read, come on. Psalms 119 verse 59. I thought of my ways. So you got to think of your ways. What does that mean? I have grace. I know what my shortcomings are, right? Read on. And turn my feet unto thy testimonies. And God said that a righteous person will turn their feet unto his testimonies. Read, come on. I made haste. What? I made haste. What? I made haste. Sis, what does it mean to make haste? I'm going to give you an example. When you see somebody down the street with a gun walking your way, you're going to make haste and get the hell out of there, right? So, when you acknowledge that your sin is in transgression against God and you love God, right? You made haste to do what? And delayed not to keep thy commandments. You ran fast to the commandments and you didn't make a delay. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. His word. His word.